Welcome to this card point quick tips training video. This is Brian Manning and I'm going to show you 21 quick tips and customizations that you should know about when using card point. These might be things that you never knew about in the first place or perhaps forgot, but these are enhancements that will make your life easier when it comes to card point. And as demonstrated in other card point training videos, there's a lot you can do with the card point platform in terms of integrations, reporting functionality, and of course, processing credit cards. But there's also a lot of features that sometimes get overlooked because no one explained them to you up front or your business needs have changed and now there's a need where previously there was not. So this is a reminder of things that are available to you with card point. So here we go, let's get into the list. First, the mobile app. Number one, you have access to the free mobile app. No matter what type of account you have or how you primarily process credit cards, the app not only allows you to process transactions, it gives you real-time reporting. And that means that any transaction that came from a card point device, you can see in real time on the app. Number two, the mobile card reader earphone extension. If you have a case on your phone and prefer not to take it off every time you use the card reader, you can buy an extension that looks something like this. Please note that this extension is not officially supported by CardPoint, but it does work as long as you remember tip number three, which is to keep the volume turned up on your mobile device or phone all the way when using the mobile reader. Number four is to remember to charge the reader when using it. A charging cable is provided when you purchase the mobile card reader. Number five is a fingerprint scanner, which is available on iPhone and Android, and you can enable the fingerprint reader so that when you open up the app, your phone will automatically prompt you to sign in using a fingerprint. Number six is use of the catalog function, and this is great for quick sales and quick access to run transactions. So you can do things like easily create products with custom pricing, and you can assign them to different categories. Select products from the catalog during checkout, and you can apply discounts to specific products or to the entire checkout order. You can also offer your customers the ability to tip during checkout. Number seven is access to the hosted payments page. It's free to all CardPoint users, and there's lots of ways that you can use it, so check the links in the description for detailed tutorials on the CardPoint hosted payments page. Number eight is access to the hosted payments page editor. You can do basic customizations yourself within the editor, such as changing color schemes of the page itself, adding a logo, and even adding or removing fields of entry. Number nine is to set pay now buttons for the hosted payment page. And having a button generator like this is a great way to add a pay now button anywhere on your website just by copy and pasting the code into your website editor. Number 10 is e-commerce or shopping cart platforms. Integrations are available through WooCommerce, Magento, and CoreCommerce in a plug and play fashion. Next are general customizations. There's lots you can do, but here are some of the top ones that were frequently asked about. Number 11 is that you can elect to send an emailed copy of the receipt automatically after a purchase through the virtual terminal or the app, or you can choose to send it per occurrence or not send it at all. It's entirely up to you. Number 12 is to customize the subject line of the receipt that your customer receives after making a payment to you through the virtual terminal or the app. Number 13 is to automatically store customer profiles into the secure vault. Nothing is stored on your local computer. Everything is hosted and stored securely in the Card Connect customer vault when choosing this option within the virtual terminal inside of the CardPoint dashboard. Number 14 is turning on or off email notifications. You can set the system to email you daily batch totals and customize it so that you receive notifications via email for other occurrences such as chargebacks or a declined transaction. Number 15, you can change the time that batch totals get sent out. Number 16 is that you can go paperless with your card point merchant account. Statements are always archived for you in PDF format under the reporting tab inside CardPoint. Number 17 is adding additional users to your account while controlling their permissions and limiting what they're able to do by setting them up as a standard user. Number 18 is adding required fields to the additional fields section. And if you add a required field, a transaction cannot be completed without entering data into this field. Number 19 is add an invoice line item to the virtual terminal and choose whether it's a required field. 
Number 20 is detailed reporting. Each transaction has a clickable link under the transaction number column inside CardPoint reporting. And number 21 is that you can open a support ticket yourself right from the dashboard by clicking on the support tab and choosing from the most applicable reason codes provided. If this CardPoint tutorial was helpful, please make sure to check the links in the description for the frequently asked questions video, which addresses additional commonly asked questions about CardPoint. This is part of an ongoing series of CardPoint tutorials, merchant account trainings, and payment page tutorials. So be sure to click that subscribe button so you'll You'll receive notifications when future videos are posted. Again, if this video was helpful, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and comment below if you have any questions. I'm Brian Manning, and thanks for watching.